All right, let's show you how to use On1FX inside of Adobe Photoshop. Open the photo you want to work on and then select the target layer that you'd like to operate on. It could be a normal layer, a background layer, or even a smart object. In this case, I'm going to convert this normal background layer into a smart object and work on that. The great thing about working on a smart object is On1FX will then be applied as a smart filter, which lets you go back and re-edit your settings later, which I find to be a pretty handy feature. Then to access effects, go to the File menu, down to Automate, and then select On One Effects. You can also use the, you can also do this from the Filter menu by going to Filter, On One, and selecting Effects. Now we're inside of the On One Effects workspace. Your photo will be in the middle of the preview area. On the left hand side, you'll see the presets and the tool well, and then on the right hand side, you'll see the Effects tab and the Local tab. I'm going to start off with a preset for this example. I'm just going to go down to the Vivid Landscape category. I'm going to select a preset that I like that will make a lot of the yellows turn green. There we go. That's a good start, but it's a little too strong. You notice when I add any presets, they'll appear over here in my effects stack inside of effects. These are the three separate filters that this preset uses. I'm going to go to the Color Enhancer. That's the one that's making all the yellows turn green and I'm just going to turn it down a little bit. You can also add your own filters in any order that you like. I'm going to press the Add Filter button, and I'm going to add one more. Let's add a Lens Blur filter. I want to use this to create kind of a tilt shift, a shallow depth of field look. So I'll just use the Tilt Shift preset, and I'll just turn my amount down a little bit. There we go. Now you can see how it's kind of added a little blur to the top and bottom of my photo. Once I've made my adjustments and I'm happy with them, just press the Done button. Your results will appear, in this case, in a smart filter here inside of Photoshop, hanging off the bottom of the layer. You can turn it on and off just by toggling the eye on the filter, or you can double click to go back and re-edit your settings. There you go. That's the basics of using On1FX as a Photoshop plugin. Thanks for watching.